for the Wolves at the end of 41 or 40 minutes of play here at the All-State Arena. Well, before the game, Billy Gardner had a chance to sit down with Syracuse defenseman Ole Christian Tolleson. This interview is brought to you by LaSalle Bank. Thank you, Judd. Uh, Ole Christian, first of all, uh, the team lost last night in Peoria, one nothing, very close game, but uh, overall this year it's been a pretty good year. Just talk about the club and uh, how the team has been playing. Uh, we've been playing pretty good. Like at home, we've been playing good. Road, we've been playing good. Like we're right at 500 now. But uh, like we wanted to bounce back from last year. We didn't do a good job making the playoff or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to bounce back and have a really good year this year. This year, a lot of guys injured. A, a lot of call-ups. Columbus has uh, <laughs> had the elevator working guys up and down. Uh, you got to play in five games. Your first five games in the NHL. Talk about that experience. How much fun was that? Oh, it was exciting. Like, it's always been a dream for me coming over here and playing in the NHL and finally get the call up this year. I appreciate that. And Columbus Oregon Chase and giving me a chance to play there. It's real fun. That's what I wanted to ask you. As a kid growing up, obviously from Norway, uh, and a lot of hockey in Norway, but who would you uh, say that you were able to watch? I'm not sure if you were able to watch NHL games, but uh, going back to that time when you were a kid growing up, uh, was there anybody in particular, any teams that you were able to watch to uh, look and then maybe enjoy? Well, I always kind of followed Detroit Red Wings uh -huh. because, like, Nicholas and Lidstrom was my favorite player mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But, like, when I was younger, they didn't show that much hockey on TV in Norway. Like, it's maybe one game a week. That's maybe what you see. And it's, like, it's not a big thing over there at all. Mm -hmm. At the age of 16, you took a risk. You were a pretty good player. You ended up playing in a senior men's league over there. How was that with men uh, that were a lot bigger than you, obviously, but you had pretty good skill? Uh, it was fun. Like I always was the player, like like the head and stuff like that. And <laughs> yeah. I was like the young guy coming in and sure. tried to hit the older guys. So obviously, they got mad at me and stuff. But uh, it was exciting. Like it's helped me a lot playing senior as a young kid, mm -hmm. and then coming over here and play juniors again. It helped me a lot. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. Your next step was actually coming over playing in the Western Hockey League for uh, Brandon. You played with Jordan Tutu. Everybody kind of knows Jordan yeah. Tutu, but. Uh, Talk about uh, the decision you had to make. Uh, was it with your family? When, when did you decide to come over and actually and go to the Western Hockey League? Well, my last year in Norway when I was 18, I was like playing under 18 World Championship right. and like all the agents, all the scouts were there mm -hmm. kind of talking to you, and, like talking highly about playing juniors. And as soon as I kind of got drafted by the Blue Jackets, it was like, okay, I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to go there, take a chance, see what happens and stuff like that. Why did you pick the Western Hockey League when there's a couple of other leagues? Was that something that somebody talked to you about or uh, uh, just a, a risky thing to take going out there? I know there's a lot more travel on the Western Hockey League than the OHL, but uh, why did you pick them? Uh, everybody told me, like, if you want to get ready for, like, the traveling in the AHL <laughs> and stuff like that, just go to the Western League. It's tougher. You get more experience that way, so that makes you ready for to go. So that's that was the main part. So they find a good team for me and Brandon. That fit me perfect, so... I read that you speak five languages fluently. Uh, what are they, and how did you learn five languages? Well, in school, like obviously, I got Norwegian. I can speak Swedish, mm -hmm. Danish, German, mm -hmm. a little bit of Icelandic, mm -hmm. English, all that stuff, obviously. Cool. So it's in, like we in Norway, you got to learn English from your grade three or four, I think, and like you got to choose German or French. So. You can learn a little bit. I know you're proud of your heritage. There is a few guys now that do play in the National Hockey League, and there's some guys actually playing in the minors. Uh, one of the things that I did read also is the fact that you have a, a ship on your shoulder. You have a tattoo with your heritage. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, like as a young kid, I always wanted a tattoo, obviously. <laughs> it looks cool and stuff like that, but I wanted something that meant something for me. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted something from Norway. I wanted something with hockey, so I choose the Norwegian Viking playing hockey. Mm -hmm. It means a lot for me, like coming from the place I do and actually making it over here. So it means a lot for me. Last question, don't have a lot of time. We pull them away from the, the big soccer match. They call it the Liars Club. Uh, there's a belt. How much fun is that before a hockey game playing with a soccer ball? No, it gets you ready. Like a little bit of battling and a little bit of fun. It's uh, it's a good warm-up. Well, Lee, thanks for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. We'll be back with more of the second.